Greetings everyone! Welcome to the 13th episode of Freeway to Financial Freedom. My name is Chen Yu, the host of the show. For those of you who have seen the show, you know what this is about. And for those of you who haven't seen the show or are here watching the show for the first time, don't worry, I'll tell you right now. This show is going to change the way you think about finance. And by watching the show, you'll actually teach yourself how to become more affluent, actually financially affluent in life. How is it possible? Well, to show you how they can achieve this goal, here's a story. Cash flow is the story of how an average person overcomes obstacles and limitations to escape the rat race and take charge of their financial future. It all began when our wide-eyed hero graduated college, got a job, accumulated debt, and found himself stuck firmly in the middle of the same rat race he swore he would avoid when he used to dream big. How would he ever find his way out? It's Ready Rat! To the rescue! rescue, rescue, rescue. It's time for you to escape this rat race! Let me show you the way out! With that, our hero learned how to change his thinking about money and investing, understand risk and grow his passive income, providing him with the financial freedom to get out of the rat race that was making him live from hand to mouth with little chance that anything would change. Finally, our hero escapes the rat race and goes down a road of his very own where all of his dreams come true. The end. Freeway to Financial Freedom is sponsored by Income and Product Emporium Fly High with Financial and Technological Freedom and CYY Mall Great savings come from shoppers like you And now back to the show And let's see here, I'm gonna be janitor and my dream, building a kid's library. Okay, so I'm gonna choose this dream. And now I'm still waiting for a, for a, a challenger. And of course this will take some time. Ah, here we are. We have an opposing player named uh, Rance. It's spelled R A N T Z. Rance. And his stream, Cruise the Mediterranean. Okay, so now I, uh, I believe he's ready, so let's start. Okay, now it's my turn. I'm gonna roll a die. And let's see what I have, too. And it should be opportunity, no doubt. And of course, I'll take small deal. Stock, okay for you drug company. Inflation worries cause poor shares price of this long time maker of medicine. Let's see, yeah, only you can buy as many shares as you want at this price, but everyone may sell this price. Today's price, $10, trading range, $5 to $40. Well, well, it's a little bit too high, so I'm gonna have to pass, but let me see if I could repay my loans. Uh, well. It's gonna be retail debt, but I'll deal with that later on. Okay, now it's Rand's turn. And let's see, he lands on Doodad. Now, of course, he doesn't have a child, so it doesn't apply. Okay, now it should be my turn. And let's see, one market, but of course I don't have any properties with me, so of course doesn't apply to me. And now it's Rand's turn. Let's see where he's at, just a paycheck. And he took home $1,110. And now it should be my turn.
Okay, five. That's great. And that should be opportunity. And I'll take a small deal, no doubt. Start a company part-time. Yeah, well... <sighs> cost is 5,000, down here is 5,000, mortgage is zero, and cash flow is zero. Yeah, I, I don't think it's really worth it, so... I would say forget it. I'll what pass. is the first question I should ask my stockbroker? Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're a broker than you are. Okay, now Rance had already landed on um, do that for a second time, but of course, it does apply to him. Now it's my turn, three. I'm in market, but of course, I don't have any property with me, so doesn't apply to me. Now it's Rance's turn. And where is he at? Oh, okay, a baby. So he has a, the first child right now, and he added $180 um, to that child expense. Now it's my turn. Two. Oh, I mean, dude, dad. And let's see. Go to air show, pay $120. Well, I have a cash with me, so I'll pay with my cash. Now it's Rand's turn. And he's in opportunity, and let's see where he's at right now. Mutual fund. Grow for us fund. Today's price $10, and trading range $10 to $30. And he paid two hundred ten dollars for that twenty-one shares of Grow for Us mutual fund. And now it's my turn, five, and it should be opportunity, no doubt. And I'll take a small deal. MYT for you, yeah, I try this company. Trade what war panic leads to record low share price for this electronic seller. Only you, you may buy as many shares as you want at this price. Everyone may sell this price. Today's price, a dollar. Be careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct, but that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. Okay, well, today's price is one dollar and trading range is five to thirty dollars. Well, that's really worth it. So, um, let me try buying, um, how many shares? Um, let's try 2,000. So it's going to be at a value of $2,000 for 2,000 shares. And yeah, I'm going to buy it. Okay, so it's, this is going to be asset for new number options. And so is the cost per option. Okay, so I have $290. Actually, $390 on hand. Now it's his turn. And where is he at? Opportunity. And the mutual fund is now $20. The growth for us. And he sold one share for $20. And now it's my turn. Okay. So now let's roll. Three. And this is a doodad, I believe. Yeah, it is. Rumor of layoff. Go back to school for added skill. Pay two tuition of books a thousand two hundred dollars. Okay, well I don't have enough cash with me, so it's gonna be credit card. And of course, I have a credit card debt. That's gonna be liability. And of course, this is gonna be expense of thirty six dollars. So now I have reduced cash flow of six hundred fourteen dollars. Now it's Rand's turn. Mutual funds are good, safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. Okay, now Rance is uh, landed on Doodad and lost $200. And let's see where I'm at. One opportunity. Let's take a small deal. On to you, entertainment. $30 per share. Trading range ten to thirty dollars. Nah, that's too high. I'll, I'll be pass. Now it's Rand's turn. 
and he landed on opportunity and let's see condo for sale two bedroom one bathroom cost sixty thousand dollars mortgage of fifty five thousand okay well he passed the opportunity because of the negative cash flow well minus a hundred cash flow I wouldn't buy that now it's my turn for okay so it should be on opportunity let's see where I'm at okay so I'm gonna take a small deal MYT for you okay now it's twenty dollars hmm yeah let me see so if I sell a thousand that's I'll get like twenty thousand hmm Um, let's see, well I'm going to have to sell some of the share, so um, I'll sell 400 and that I'll get like $8,000, so I'll sell that number. And so now I have $9,004 cash on hand. Okay, now it's Ren's turn and he's downsized. I don't know. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that's dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt and that's why they're poor. And let's, okay, now let's see if I could actually uh, repay my debt so the do that payment I gotta get rid of that because that's a big one right there and I'll take care of the retail debt as well and the credit card debt oh that's a pretty big as well so I'll have to take care of that and now now I have the cash flow of 760 now it's my turn six okay hopefully I can get some property and now it's my turn. Small deal. Wow! Now it's $30 for MIT for you. So, um, hmm. I'm gonna have to sell part of that as well. So, 400. So now I have $16,804 in hand. And of course, it's Ren's turn and he's still downsized. And it should be my turn, no doubt. Okay, and of course I'll roll. Six, okay, that's great. I, now I can run a little bit faster right now. Okay, I'll take a small deal, no doubt. On to you entertainment. $40 per share. Range, trading range, $10 to $30. Well, that's too high, so I'm going to have to pass that. And now it's Ren's turn and he's still downsized, no doubt. Okay. Why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Yeah, but... You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk. But you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I just got a baby, so of course I have to add $70 expense. Now the cash flow is reduced to $690, but I still have $17,000, $17,564 on hand. Hope I can get a house, a jet property, quick. Now it's Ren's turn, and let's see. And he is, he landed on opportunity. And let's see what he's doing right now. House for sale. Oh well, let's see. Cost of fifty thousand. Okay, well he passed the opportunity because of the negative negative cash flow. The cash flow of minus a hundred. Yeah, I wouldn't buy that, even though I don't have to make a down payment. Okay, now it's my turn for. Now it's in market, but of course I have no property with me, so doesn't apply to me. And now it's his turn. And he landed on paycheck and he took home $880. And of course it should be my turn, no doubt.
And uh, let's see, let's see if I could repay my loans. Um, yeah, the home mortgage is a little bit too high, but I still have to pay for the car loan. Yeah, I can actually get rid of the car loan for now. So now it's my turn. My stockbroker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! Okay, now I already landed on a paycheck, so I got the uh, $750 that. And now it's Rand's turn and he's in stock. Okay for you, drug. Today's price $40, training range $5 to $40. And he paid two hundred forty dollars for six shares of OK for you. Okay, now it's my turn. Five. Hopefully, it should be opportunity. And yep, it is. And I'll take a small deal. On to you, entertainment. Today's price twenty dollars. Trading range ten to forty dollars. Well, it's a little bit too high, so I'll pass. Uh. Now it's Rand's turn. And he landed on opportunity. And this is okay for you, drug. To price thirty dollars. Trading range five to forty dollars. And let's see what he's. What's his uh, action? And he passed on that opportunity, I believe. Okay, so now it's my turn. I roll a six. Uh, let's see, let me try a big deal this time. Small shopping mall for sale. Bank has taken back mall from bank owner. Mall is currently 50% occupied. Just listen today. Use this for yourself to sell to that player. 90% return of investment may sell for 35 to 150,000. Yeah, account cost is 50,000, mortgage zero, down here at 50,000 and Cash flow 800. My real estate broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. Always remember that your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah. That's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it. It's the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. Well, if I buy it, then I have to borrow 35000 which means I have to um, make a long payment of 3500 That's more than a cash flow of 800 so nah, yeah, I'll pass. I would have passed on that deal too. And now it's Rand's turn and he's an opportunity. Let's see. Mutual fund, grow for us fund. Today's price is $3. And let's see what he's doing right now. And he didn't do anything with that, so... Okay, now it's my turn. Two? Okay, that's an even number, that's great. Now, let me take a small deal. Okay, house for sale. Three bedroom, two bathroom. Oh, okay. Nice three, two house available in depressed market due to layoff. Would make good investment property for the right buyer. Use this for yourself or sell to another player. 60% return of investment may sell for 65 to 135,000. Cost of fifty thousand, mortgage of forty-six thousand, down payment of four thousand, and cash flow of two hundred. Hey, that's very impressive. I'll buy it. Nicely done. Okay, so this is gonna be asset. What is the first question I should ask my stockbroker? Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. Okay, so I got a cash flow of 950 up from 200 because I just bought a, a property of a three bedroom, two bathroom. Okay, and now it's Rand's turn and he's in small deal opportunity. Stock, okay for you, drug. And he passed the opportunity. Okay, so now it should be my turn.
one a baby. Okay, I got the second child, so I'm adding a seventy dollar to my child expense. But fortunately, I just got a got a property, so I could hold on hold on to myself. Cash flow is now reduced to eight hundred eighty. All right, so now it's a uh, rent's turn, and he's in do that. Go to concert, dinner ticket, and coffee set you back a hundred eight dollars. Okay, so he paid a hundred eight dollars for that. Do that. Okay, now it's be my turn. Three. And let me try a big deal. Apartment complex for sale. 60 unit complex available for, from pension fund that foreclosed on builder, owner, on site manager in place, uses for sale or sell to the player. 66% um, return of investment may sell for 1.5 million to 2.7 million dollars. Cost of 1.2 million, mortgage of 1 million, and down payment of 200,000, cash flow of 11,000. Be careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct, but that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. Nah, that's a little bit too much because if I buy, I have to pay. Uh, I have to make a loan payment of um, um, of about nineteen thousand. That's that's more than a cash flow of eleven thousand. So uh, I'm gonna pass. Yeah, I would have passed on that deal too. And now it's Ren's turn. And let's see, he's downsized for the second time. And it should be my turn, no doubt. Okay. And I wrote a three, and that's a... Oh, that's a doodad. Buy a big screen TV, pay $4,000. Hey, I still got like $12,000 in cash, so... Pay with my cash. And now it's Rand's turn, and of course he's downsized, so... He has to wait for like... He has to pass like one more turn. Now it's my turn. Oh, now I'm downsized. After I wrote two. And fortunately, I still have my money with me, so that's not a problem. And now um, for rents, he's still downsized. And of course, it's now my turn, and of course, I'm still downsized, so I'll skip that quickly. Mutual funds are good, safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. Okay, so Rance is now no longer downsized, but of course, I'm downsized still. And now it's Rand's turn. And now he's in do that and he played his lo lucky lottery number but he lost a hundred dollars. Well, he didn't win that grand prize. And now it should be my turn, hopefully. And yep, it is my turn. Five, okay. Let me take a small deal this time from Opportunity. And today's price and it says stock NYT for you and of course today's price is ten dollars and the trading range is of course five to thirty dollars well hmm yeah I'm gonna have to hold on to that stock so I'll pass hold on to that stock and now it's Rand's turn and he's an opportunity And he found a great deal. Okay, a house, um, a th three bedroom, two bathroom house, may sell for sixty-five to one hundred thirty-five thousand. And he bought, he bought it for two thousand dollars with a cash flow of two hundred fifty. 
and now it's my turn. Six. And let me take a small deal this time. House for sale. Three bedroom, two bathroom. Low down payment to pick up the free to house. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that is dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt and that's why they're poor. Let's see. May sell for 65 to 135,000. 40% return of investment. Cap cost of 50,000. Mortgage of 47,000, down payment of 3,000, and cash flow of 100. Hmm, let's see where Rand is at right now. Okay, he has a passive income of 250, and I have 200 for that passive income. So that's a really great deal, I'll buy it. There you go. And this should be asset, so it's a cost. Well, a long down payment. And this is liabilities for mortgage and cash flow, that'll be income. And now I have cash flow of 980. Now I have the passive income of 300. Okay, now it's Rand's turn. And he's in do that. Buy new clothes, pay $250. And he paid in cash. Okay, now it's um, my turn. Hopefully I can roll an even number. Three. Okay, that's a do that, but let me see. Go out to dinner, spend $80, pay with my cash. Now it's Rand's turn. And let's see, he got a child. And he add $108 to his child expense. Oh, that's his second child. Wow, I also have two ch children right now. Okay, so now it's, uh, it's my turn. Five, okay, so that's an opportunity. Uh, let me take a small deal this time and let's see you find a great deal why do you say investing is a risky well there's always risk when you invest but it doesn't mean you have to be risky you don't have to be a risky investor when you drive your car there's risk right yeah but you don't have to be a risky driver if you take a few lessons practice take it slow you'll be a very good investor there's always risk, but you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Older three-bedroom, two-bathroom house, repossessed by government agency, ready to go with government financing with a tenant. Borrow from a bank, from the bank if you must, but buy this. 132% return may sell for 65 to 135,000. Cost of 35,000, mortgage of 33,000, down payment of 2,000, and cash flow of 250. Hey, that's a great deal, I'll buy it. There you go. And down payment, that will be asset, so it's cost, mortgage, that'll be liability, and cash flow will be income, and now I have an income, a cash flow of 1200 Okay, that's great. Now I have passive income of 520 Well, halfway there. And now it's Rand's turn, and he landed on opportunity, and let's see where he's at. Stock, okay for you, drug. Today's price $10 and trading range of $5 to $40. And he paid $30 for that three shares of OK for you share. Actually, OK for you stock. Now it's my turn. OK. Hopefully, it's an even number. Odd number. OK, so market. Well, I don't have any condo, for the two bedroom, one bathroom. So, doesn't apply to me. OK, now it's Red's turn. And he's in market again. Plex buyer. Well, okay, well, he doesn't have any Plex, so that's apply to him. Now it's my turn. All right. The stockbroker says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! Okay, I landed a small deal opportunity and the stock is on to you entertainment. Today's price $20, trading range $10 to $30. Well, that's a little bit too high, so I'll pass. Okay, now it's Rand's turn. And he landed an opportunity. And let's see. Stock on to your entertainment. Today's price $10, trading range $10 to $30. Fortunately, I didn't buy that. 
and he paid one hundred twenty dollars for that twelve shares of OK onto you entertainment stock. Now it's my turn. Hope I can roll an even number. Five, and this is gonna be market, no doubt. And I don't have any two bedroom, one bathroom house, so it doesn't apply to me. Now it's Rand's turn. All right. And he landed on paycheck and he took home 840. And hopefully, and now it's my turn, no doubt. Hopefully, odd number. Six. And this is gonna be a, a paycheck. Yep, a paycheck. But I still need to buy some more properties. Especially the big the big deal. And let's see. He's in market. And he doesn't have any plex, so it doesn't apply to him or me. Now it should be my turn. Four. And this is a doodad. My real estate broker says property will go up in value. What do you think? Well, ask your real estate broker if they have a crystal ball. Always remember that your profit is made when you buy, not when you sell. But I'm spending money and buying. So how does that work? Making a profit when I'm spending money? Do you hope the investment will go up in value? Well, yeah. That's why I'm spending money, I think. Well, you should never expect the price of anything to go up in order to make a profit. A piece of real estate needs to be profitable when you buy it is the same as a stock needs to pay a dividend when you buy it. Never expect a thing to go up in value. That's gambling. Okay, well, I, one of my child, one of my children got married, so I paid two thousand dollars, and now I have the cash flow of a thousand two hundred seventy. And of course, um, now it's my turn. Six and market. Well, I don't have any plex, so it doesn't apply to me. Uh, and now it's a uh, it's Ren's turn. And let's see where he's at. He rolled a five, and he's an opportunity. And hopefully, he should get some good one. MYT for you electronics. Okay, well, well, that price is not too not high enough to sell, so I'm gonna have to pass. And he didn't buy that that um, that stock from MYT for you. And now it's my turn. Hopefully I can get some odd number. Two. A doodad. And what is this? Okay, so I... So my last child marries, so... I had to give a couple $3,000 and that... My, my, my expenses reduced. So I'll pay with my cash. So now I have four thousand two hundred forty-four thousand. What is the hands? first question I should ask my stockbroker? Well, the first question I'd ask is, do you invest in stocks? Statistics show that most stockbrokers don't invest in stocks. The same is true with most real estate brokers. They don't invest in real estate. You see, most brokers are not investors. The reason they're called brokers is because they're broker than you are. Okay. Well, I um, now my cash flow has increased to a thousand three hundred forty. Let's see, the stock, okay, now we have the stock NYT for you. Today's price is $30, um, yeah. And, uh, hmm, he passed the opportunity. Five to $30, I know that he, this stock has reached $40, so, hmm. I'm gonna have to sell 200 shares. So now I have, Ten thousand two hundred forty-four dollars cash on hand, and now it's my turn. And I roll it a five, an opportunity. Let me try a big deal this time. Twenty acres of raw land. Um, yeah, negative tw minus twelve percent rate of return of investment. Cost of thirty thousand mortgage for fifteen thousand down payment. Of 15,000 cash flow minus 150. Uh, not a good deal. I'll pass. And now it's Red's turn. And let's see. He's in the market. 
Plex, Fire. Well, we don't have any Plex, so it doesn't apply to us. And now it's my turn. Hopefully, an even number. Two. Okay. Be careful with real estate. Tenants could damage your property. That's correct, but that's what you have insurance for. And don't worry so much about the tenants or what they could do. You need to focus on those rent checks coming in every month. If you have good property managers, they'll take care of that problem for you. Stock MIT for you. Electronics today's price forty dollars. Trading range five to thirty dollars. Booming market leads to record share price of the of this home. Electronic retailer, you only you may buy as many shares as you want at this price. Everyone may sell this price. Yeah, that's a, that's high enough. I'll I'll sell all of them. Okay, so it's gonna be that. So now I have fifty one thousand five hundred eighty four dollars cash on hand with a cash flow of a thousand three hundred forty. So yeah, this will be a good time to take a big deal. And uh, he's in, let's see, his, it's his turn and it's the stock is okay for your drug. Today's price $1. And let's see, what's his action? Well, he didn't take any action. Well, it could have been me. I could have reinvested. So now it's my turn. Two, okay. So now I hope I can take a big deal. Duplex for sale. Duplex owner must pay to, must sell to pay hospital bills. Two tenants in place, all re record, good investment opportunity. Uses for yourself or sell to net player. 40% ROI may sell for 50,000 to 80,000. Cost of 60,000. Mortgage of 40,000. Down payment of 12,000 and cash flow of 400. Hmm, sounds like a good deal. Let me buy it. Good job. Thanks. And this will be asked for down payment. Mutual funds are good safe investments. Mutual funds aren't safe. Many only work if the stock market is going up. When the stock market drops, many mutual funds lose their value faster than other investments. And now I have passive income of 920 and with a cash flow of 1740 Okay, now it's his turn. And he landed on paycheck and rents took home 840 Now it's my turn. Hopefully I could get out of the rat, rat race soon. Congratulations. Nicely done. Congratulations, you reached the fast track. You've proved your financial intelligence. Your rat race investment have prospered. You've reinvested your returns for outstanding investment success. You've successfully increased your passive income a hundred times. Okay, so now I'm in the fast track. Now it's my turn. Six. And I still need fifty thousand dollars cash flow to reach my goal. Let's see, cruise the, the Mediterranean, cruise the Mediterranean on a private yacht. Yeah, it costs ten thousand, a hundred thousand dollars. I'm gonna have to pass that. And now it's Rand's turn. And he's in opportunity. Condo for sale, two bedroom, one bathroom, cost forty thousand. May sell for forty five to sixty five thousand with a cash flow of one hundred forty dollars, and he passed the opportunity. Now it's my turn. Eleven. All right. So what is it going to be? Pay half of your cash on hand for alimony. Oh, tough luck. But I still got ninety two thousand dollars. On hand. Let's see, he's on charity. Let's see, Rance is on charity. And I don't know. Taking out loans and borrowing money seems kind of dangerous. Borrowing money isn't dangerous. It's what you do with the money that's dangerous. Always remember there is good debt and bad debt. Good debt makes you rich and bad debt makes you poor. Unfortunately, most people invest in bad debt and that's why they're poor. Okay, so I, ro I wrote a, a die and Pass the opportunity on a research center. Now it's his turn. Stock on to you entertainment. Today's price ten dollars. Trading range ten to thirty dollars. And he sold six six shares for sixty dollars. 
Okay, now it's my turn. And I roll a six. And what is it gonna be? Your religious organization is growing by leaps and bounds. New business I need it. You donate $175,000. Ah, uh, I'm, not, I'm not interested in that, so I'll pass. Now it's his turn. House fire, three bedroom, two bathroom. Well, he doesn't have that, so it doesn't apply to him. Actually, oh, actually, he has one, and he sold for profit $22,000. Now it's my turn. Three. Chicken franchise. Two outlets. So cash on return is um, 40% and the cash flow $10,000. Hey, let's see. Down payment is um, $300,000. Oh, that's a little bit too, that's pretty low. I mean, I'm going to have to pass that. And now it's my, it's his turn. He's in do that. Rumor of layoff, go back to school for out of school, pay for tuition and books at the- Why do you say investing is a risky? Well, there's always risk when you invest, but it doesn't mean you have to be risky. You don't have to be a risky investor. When you drive your car, there's risk, right? Y yeah, but- You don't have to be a risky driver. If you take a few lessons, practice, take it slow, you'll be a very good investor. There's always risk. But you don't have to be risky. Oh, I see. Okay, well, I already passed the oppor well, opportunity because I had to raise some money. And he just got a child right now. And now it's my turn. Ten. Buy a forest. Stop the loss of ancient trees. Donate a thousand acres of forest and create a nature walk for all to enjoy and it costs 20 250,000 well I'm gonna have to pass that now it's Rand's turn and where is he at stock MYT for you now it's five dollars and a trading range of five of five to thirty dollars and he passed the opportunity and now it should be my turn Okay, so I wrote an 8. Set up entrepreneurial, um, entrepreneurial business school in third world nations. Instructors of business people donating the knowledge and time. Cost of 200000 Now nah, I'm going to have to pass that. And now it's his, it's Ren's turn. And the stock, MIT for you electronics, today's price $30 and trading range of $30. My stockbroker oh. says that investing in real estate is risky. What else would you expect a stockbroker to say about real estate? Why don't you ask a real estate broker what he thinks about stocks? I wouldn't do that because he doesn't handle stock. Oh! Okay, and I landed on a kid's library, but I'm not interested in that. Wait, hold on. A kid's library? Hey, that's me! And the cost is 175000 and cash on hand, hey, I got 368000 Hey, you know what? If I buy it, then yeah, I'm gonna win this game. So yeah, let me buy it. Yay! Congratulations, you've won the game and achieved, achieved your dream goal. Final score, I have 120 and Reds, zero. Hip, hip, hooray! Okay, so although I haven't reached the the cash flow um, goal of um, of one hundred forty two thousand, at least I just um, uh, reached the goal of building a kids library. So now you know what it means to be um, uh, to be financially uh, affluent. So now, after you watch this show, I want you to apply um, apply the these concepts uh, from the the game show that you watch. Uh, into your everyday life and hopefully you can avoid the financial pitfalls and at the same time you can actually reach your goal to uh, financial freedom all right that's it for this episode of the show um, and remember knowledge 
is your golden ticket to affluence. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.